Today we're looking at the 2003 Mazda Protege ES. So I was getting a code P0090 uh, related to the fuel. So I decided I would check out the, oh they got all kinds of different names for it, but basically uh, what I found it was called an EGR gas recirculation valve solenoid. So your, uh, this is your EGR valve but it connects up to something called your uh, solenoid, which also, it mounts right there. Right now, mine is not attached. You can see the hoses that, uh, that plug into it, and also the electric. So it's basically an electric solenoid. Here's, an, here's another hose. Here's another connection. It's an electric solenoid that controls whether or not vacuum is allowed to go to the valve right there. I will show you um, how I tested mine and how I found out that it was broken on this old, not so old Mazda. Here is the, the valve and it mounted in the car. Mounts in the car in that orientation where the two bolts is attached to it here. This is the valve to uh, connectors inside so basically the first test is you test the resistance across here I'm going to check the resistance across those two terminals Let's see if I can get it There you go. So I'm getting about 30. I'm not holding it very well, but I'm I get about 37 ohms in there on that one. And that one's the good one. But if you look at the bad one, 1.2 mega ohms. So it's way off. So that was my first indication. Got another way of testing it. Since it's a solenoid, uh, you can just take a DC battery. You know, even though most stuff, most things run off of nine volts on your car, you can take a DC battery, attach it. Just attach that. Test out. I'm going to test the good one first since I already did it. I think this was the positive side, and then. This is the negative side. So you can hear a click. So that's a good indication. Obviously, since this one does not, it's basically uh, an infinite resistance across the. Wait. Are you kidding me? This thing just started working was not working before when I did this surprise result right there actually doesn't sound too bad I did take some time and try to clean this out with some cleaner maybe and also I blant I blew uh, compressed air through it oh well so I guess over time after I blew the compressed air it loosened this one up I blew the uh, compressed air in through here and then also uh, in through here I think this side it this one's a normally open and then when I blew it through here that forced the solenoid back the other way and allowed air to come shooting out of here but I didn't think it fixed the uh, electronics in fact the first time I tested this it was completely uh, there's a uh, short or not a short but it was uh, infinite so there was no continuity in this motor, so uh, looks like it's gonna looks like it's working. Although I'm gonna replace it anyways. Okay, so one other thing about these valves, uh, there was one part store that had it in the stock, but it was actually ninety one dollars. Now this is the part I was able to find on Amazon for thirteen dollars, and it is extremely close. Actually, it's just the opposite. I mixed mixed them up. The one with the red dot is the original. 
and that is the new replacement for $13 shipped. So what I'm doing right now is I just painted the bracket. Uh, one way to get the plastic part out of the bracket is to slide it in here and then turn your screwdriver ever so slightly and it backs the part out. Okay, before it gets too dark, I wanted to show you how this thing sits in here. Basically, it sits, it's like this. You can see the, the filter sits on this end and then there's this hose here. Those two connect and then the hose coming from the back connects there and then your, your uh, connector connects there. So it sits down like that and uh, this hose just goes into here. This hose, I have no idea. I think it goes to the back of the manifold. Yeah, right there. So that one goes to the back of the manifold. So that's how you route it on this 2003 Mazda Protege 2.0 liter. And by the way, this is a PRC regulator according to the manual, but you can look it up in terms of a part at your parts places by calling it the EGR valve solenoid. Thank you. Bye.